if you haven't subscribed ensure you do so the question reads the ship in figure p 14.39 travels along a straight line parallel to the shore and a distance 600 meters from it so the ship's radio receives simultaneous signals of the same frequency from the antennas a and b separated by a distance l is equal to 800 meters the signals interfere constructively at point c which is equidistant from point a so point c is equidistant is equidistant from point a and b so meaning it's at the middle the signal goes through the first minimum at point d which is directly outward from the shore from the shore from point b determine the wavelength of the radio waves so they want us to find the wavelength of the radio waves so the question reads again let's read once more the ship in figure p14.39 travels along a straight line parallel to the shore and a distance t is equal to 600 meters from it the ship's radio receives simultaneous signals of the same frequency from the antennas a and b separated by a distance l is equal to 800 meters the signals interfere constructively at point C, which is equidistant from point A and B. The signal goes through the first minimum at point D, which is directly outward from the shore from point B. Determine the wavelength of the radio waves. So let's look at the diagram. So this is the diagram. This is the ship here. So point C is equidistant from point B and uh, point A and point B so this is the information we have from the question then the signals the signals interfere constructively at point C so at point C, the signals interfere constructively. Then at point D, the signals interfere destructively. So this is the information that we have. So we determine the wavelength of the radio waves. So let's continue. To determine the wavelength of the radio waves, we should know the distance between uh, from the source here to here and also the distance from there to there. So we have to know the distance. So we've been told that the distance here is 600, then the distance here is 800. So to find the distance here, we use Pythagoras theorem. And when we do that, we find that the distance is equal to uh, let's let's find the distance here so this distance will be given by we use Pythagoras theorem so 800 squared plus 600 squared we are getting one one million so this when we find the square root of this we are getting to be we are getting the distance to be 1000 so this is the distance so this distance here it's 1000 meters which is just the same as one kilometer so 
at point D, we can now find the destructive interference at point D. Uh, we are saying at point D, that's where there's destructive interference. So, uh, we can use that information to calculate the wavelength. So, the formula for destructive interference is R2 minus R1 is equal to N plus lambda over 2, which lambda is representing the wavelength. So this is for destructive interference. Then constructive interference is given by the formula R1, R2 minus R1 is equal to N lambda. So this is for destructive interference. So in this case, since we are considering at point D, there is a uh, destructive interference, we use the formula for destructive interference. So when we substitute where there is R2, we substitute with 1000, then R1, we substitute with 600. So when we do that, it is equal to lambda over 2. So when we do that, we are getting 1000 minus 600. We get our answer to be 400 is equal to lambda over 2. So here we make lambda the subject of the formula. So we have to uh, cross and multiply. So when we do that, we are getting our lambda to be 800 meters. So this is what this equation required us to do. So the lambda is the wavelength. So, so the wavelength in, uh, in this case is 800 meters. So we found the answer to the question. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel.